Выбирайте движение прямо. If I were asked to describe the situation in Ukraine in one sentence, <laughs> I guess I would say we are tired, very tired of this endless war. Today is my birthday. Thank you, Russians. My birthday has been completely spoiled. Hello everyone, hello from Invincible Ukraine. In this video I will show you how Ukraine has changed during these almost six months of war. I will show you some cities located <coughs> in the central Ukraine, mainly Zhytomyr and Vinnytsia, and I will show you how average people live. Now we are in the very center of Zhytomyr, near the school. Have a look at this school. The school which was ruined by Russian occupants. Uh, they are telling stories that uh, their targets are only military objects, but all people know that they are ki killing civilians every, every day. Oh, what's going on? Actually, it's dangerous to go there, but people people are visiting this school. It's like an excursion, very tragic excursion, I should admit. So, what what has changed? Firstly, let's talk about the number of people. According to my personal perception, there are less people in Kyiv and in Zhytomyr, in Vinnytsia. Yeah, so many people uh, have left Ukraine. Uh, less people, less cars, less traffic. Uh, as for air raid sirens, <laughs> when, I, when I arrived to Ukraine, I was shocked because nobody pays attention to them.
almost all shops, cafes, restaurants are working and there are two camps, so-called camps. Some people decided to leave to the fullest because you might be attacked and you may be killed by a rocket, by a Russian missile any second. So they are enjoying their life. And some people, some people are very depressed. They are sitting at home. They, well, like me. And it's my birthday today, but I'm not going to celebrate because I think it's not just the right time because Ukrainians are killed every day. But Russians have greeted me already. There have been three air raid sirens already. That's how we live our new reality. In Kyiv, the metro works only till 9 p.m. and after 9 p.m. it's very hard to catch a taxi and the prices for taxis are, are not reasonable at all. Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's half past nine and I'm so lucky that I have caught the last train because now it's a real problem and it's very difficult to find a taxi. Moreover, they are very expensive. Actually, I'm shocked because there are no people, no people at all. video I told you that Ukrainians deliberately damaged many traffic signs for Russians to get lost in Ukraine because these idiots are using not updated maps so now some regions started installing new traffic signs because they are sure that Russians will never get to the central part of Ukraine
people who have no money, they are trying to make their living. This old lady is trying to sell flowers. Now I have cool flowers. <laughs> people should help each other.